Hey guys, welcome back to the trade day results of the November 28th trade day block. Uh, as you guys can see, we have nine active players and we got a total of 88 trade offers that we have to check and we got a lot of them. Uh, I already went through them just to go through all the troll trades and uh, I, I was left off with just about 88 trade offers on these nine players and all of them should be pretty high quality trades. So lots of good trade offers that we have to go through. So we'll first off start off with Vorchek and we'll work our way up to Malkin. So let's start off with Vorchek. All right, so here we go. Four different trade offers that we have to check. Uh, first of all, we got Joe Thornton, Spezza Stepan, a golden ticket, and 10,000 coins. So, uh, like I said, I already kind of went through the troll trade, so I kind of already know what offers I'm going to be taking. And I, I will be as lenient as possible in these trade offers, because I know that uh, I do make a lot of coins, and I'm not going to, I guess, hound you guys for like 25 or 30k. I'll try my best to be lenient on all the player values as well. So, First of all, Joe Thornton, he's about 160k, the November edition. With the 10,000 coins, you're getting about 170. Stepan, Spezza, you're getting about 180. And then the golden ticket. I'm pretty sure if I accepted this trade offer, I can sell it for 25k. So this offers just about 200,000 coins, which is pretty amazing. So we'll go right into the next one and we'll keep examining these trade offers. But the next one here, we got Mark Strike, November. We got Michael Del Zotto, Carcillo, and Brower. And honestly, the first offer is still pretty good. I have all the values of all the players, but just looking at this trade offer, it's not going to add up, so I can reject that offer. Uh, going on to the second one, we got Ocposo, Henrique, and Stone. So Ocposo right now is going for about 85,000 coins. Henrique is going for about 15,000, and Mark Stone's going for about 15,000 as well. So this offer is going to add up to about 115k just from the players. And with the coins, you're getting about 150k, which is not bad. A lot of November cards that I like. But still, uh, Jakob Voracek, I would rather have Joe Thornton over those three players. So I will reject that offer. And we got one more here. We got 45,000 coins and a home green All-Stars jersey. I'm not going to take that, of course. So I will take this offer. Enjoy your Jakob Voracek. I will take Movember Joe Thornton, Spets Stepan, and the Golden Ticket. All right, and moving on to Alexander Galchenyuk, he's got 13 different trade offers, and he also has a current bid of 50,000. So I definitely uh, just kind of went off the last price sold, and his value has already shot up uh, since the last time I put him up. So he has a current bid of 50,000. I know his value is just about 60, uh, so we're going to see what we get here. First of all, Nugent Hopkins and Hoffman, not a bad deal, but I really don't think it's going to be bigger than the current bid. I'd rather have the current bid over Nugent Hopkins and Hoffman. They are the highest overall Movember card, so I'm going to reject that straight up. I'd rather have the coins. And then we got Nikita Kucherov. We got a Mitt Golden Ticket 1. Uh, the Golden Ticket, probably 25,000, like I said, quick sell. That's going to get you about 50,000 coins, which is not bad, but still, we can reject that deal. And the next trade offer on Galchenyuk is Bacchus, Marlowe, and Barry. So Bacchus right now is going for about 20k. Patrick Marlowe is going for about 10. So you're getting about 45k with the coins. And Barry is about 5,000 coins. So you're getting about 50k. Which is actually a pretty, pretty solid deal. So I will delay that. And next up, we got Jonathan Quick for Alexander Galchenyuk. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, Quick right now is going for about 75,000. So he's worth a little bit more than Galchenyuk for sure. So... I think that is going to be definitely the leading offer right now. Uh, Patrick Sharp is going for about 5k, so you're getting about 50k coins in total. Not going to beat the uh, Jonathan Quick deal. 45k coins, not going to beat it. Abdul Kader Duclair, Petrangelo. Uh, Petrangelo right now is going for about 32.5k. Duclair is going for about 15k, so you're getting about 47 with Abdul Kader. You're actually getting about 65 to 70k with this deal, so it's going to compete with uh, Jonathan Quick for sure. Uh, 50,000 coins and a gold contract. There's also David Backus, Johansson, and 5,000. Backus, like I said, going for 20,000. Johansson is going for about 35. So you're getting about 60k coins with this deal, which is, once again, not bad. But we've seen some better ones for sure in this deal. Uh, 35k and Rome, not going to take that. Uh, Brendan Dubinsky, 5.5k. There's some other offers that are a little bit better. Uh, we got a golden contract and 40,000 coins, as well as Hellbling and 30,000. I don't think it's going to be worth more than, uh, or 50,000, this card. So what I'm going to be taking is going to be the Jonathan Quick. There's nothing that's going to beat it. So there you go. Enjoy your Alexander Gelchenyuk, and I will take Jonathan Quick. And now we're moving on to Connor McDavid, and uh, he was one of the players that I did not price correctly uh, after looking back at it. He is right now worth about 50,000 coins, and I remember his last price sold before was 75,000. So it's definitely gone down in price, but we will see what we get. So first of all, we got Mark Strait Movember. Right now, he's going for about 20,000 coins, and I'm looking for about 45 to 50,000, so I can reject that first deal. 
and we'll move on to Nathan McKinnon and uh, 20,000 coins. That deal is going to get you about 45, so I will actually delay that. Uh, next up, Pavlik, Nugent Hopkins, Talbot, and 5,000 coins. Uh, Tal or Pavlik right now is going for about 20,000 coins, so uh, not worth too much with that deal. And with this one, we got Sergei Bobrovsky, uh, Hockey Fights Cancer, Lindholm. We got Movember Murray, and we also got Movember Cam Ward. Well, right now, Cam Ward's going for about 35k. Bobrovsky's going for about 20k. So with Lindholm and Murray, you're getting over 75k with this deal. So I don't think that one could be beat. Uh, Martin Jones, Jonathan Druin. Uh, Jones right now, not worth too much. 15, 20k. Druin, he's probably worth 10k as well. So you're getting about 35, 40k with this deal. Not a bad one, but of course that uh, deal with the Bobrovsky is just won't be beat. Uh, Radom Verbata and Eberle. Verbata right now is going for about 45k. Eberle is going for about 20, so you're getting about 65k, which is a pretty solid deal. Once again, I would have taken that for sure if uh, that other deal wasn't there, so I will delay that one. Uh, Patrice Bergeon, he is worth about 55k, so you're getting about 60,000 coins with this deal, as well as Semyon Varlamov and Riley. Those guys aren't worth too much. Alright, so for sure, I will be taking that deal, uh, as you guys can see here. Bobrovsky, Lindholm, Murray, and Cam Ward, and 11k. There you go. Enjoy Connor McDavid. Who knows, maybe he might get some upgrade cards, and he will be a lot more expensive in the future. So, we're narrowing down our trades. we got six more players to go through, and next guy is Philip Forsberg with 12 trade offers. So, his current bid right now is 50,250 coins. So, we're going to see what we get. And alright, look at that. 56,000 coins. That's going to be the current bid, so I will delay that. Uh, we also got Yager Felino, two golden tickets. That's 50,000 coins right there, and another batch of 5,000 coins. So right now you're getting about 55k with the golden tickets and the coins. And Yager and Felino each go for about maybe 3-4k each. So definitely it's better than the first one. So I will definitely delay that. Uh, next up we got Gadjevic and 55.7k. We've seen some better deals for sure, so I will delay it still. Uh, we also got Nazem Kadri and 30,000 coins. Kadri right now is going for, uh, let me just check here. He's going for about 15k, so that's about a 45k deal. I will delay that one. We also have a Movember Larkin and 23,000 coins. Right now, Larkin's going for about 25, so you're getting about 48k. And once again, we've seen some better deals. A uh, Kadri, 15,000 with the coins, that's about 20,000. And Ennis, the 86 overall version, which I checked, is not going for too much. It's pretty much just around 10 to 15k, so that deal is not too worth it as well. Uh, there's also Ristolainen. He is right now a quick sell Movember player, and you can get about 7 or 8k for him at the moment. So you're getting about 53,000 coins with this deal. And of course, we've seen some better ones. Philip Forsberg and Brodeen. Uh, Philip Forsberg, he's worth about 40k. We can delay, we can reject that. Not really interested in that. Uh, there's also Mike Smith, Max Domi, and Marion Hosa, and 14,000 coins. And this offer is a little bit interesting because um, right now Mike Smith is going for about 12.5k. Uh, Max Domi right now is actually going for about 40,000 coins. So you're getting about 52k. With the coins, you're getting about 66k. And Marion Hosa right now is going for about 5,000 coins. If you want to pick out a cheap player, Marion Hosa might be a pretty good player to add onto your team. But this deal is adding up, up to just about 70,000 coins. So I can delay that. Moving on to Dubnik, Gelchenyuk, and Ennis. Right now, the Movember Dubnik is going for about 45,000 coins. So that's not even going to add up to the current bid. So I will reject that. As well as Hoodler, Falk, not worth too much. And we also got Boston Gatecox. Uh, we will reject that straight up. So we got a couple offers that are interesting. We'll have to definitely uh, kind of check. But Yager, Felino, two golden tickets. Ooh, this is a pretty good deal. I'm not going to lie. I like the quick sell value just for the golden tickets. That's going to add up to about 65k. But if you take a look at the other deal uh, with, let me just double check here, with Mike Smith, Max Domi, and Hosa. Uh, if Max Domi's going for about 40. With the coins, you're getting about 55. Smith, you're getting about 67. And Hosa, you're getting about uh, over 70k with this deal. So you know what? I will take that deal. Enjoy your Movember Philip Forsberg. And I will take those Movember cards and Hosa. Alrighty, so we're now moving on to Mike Camilleri. Uh, he's 86 overall right wing sniper. I'm pretty sure right now he's worth about 30,000 coins on the marketplace. So we'll see what we get here. But he already has a current bid of 25,000 coins as well. Uh, so definitely a lot of offers that we have to check for Mike Camilleri. So the first deal we're going to get, 22,000 coins. We can kind of reject that. The current bid's definitely a lot higher. Uh, next up, we got Paul Martin, 15,000 15, coins. Uh, Paul Martin right now is pretty much quick sell value. He's not worth anything at all. And he's going, so this deal is about 23, 24K. We can reject that as well. 
Going on, we got Marion Hosa and 20k. That's going to be higher than the current bid. Like I said, Hosa's going for about 5k, so that deal is pretty good. Uh, next up, we got Olimata, Brad, Brad Boys, and Ryan Callahan. Olimata right now going for about 10,000 coins. Uh, Brad Boys, I honestly don't think he's going for too much. Maybe like 5 or 10k coins. And uh, I'm not too interested in this deal, so I will kind of delay it. Uh, once again, we got another Olimata and 6,000 coins. Not going to take that. Uh, Eberly right now, like I said, is going for about 20,000 coins. So pretty close to Camilleri, but still looking for a little bit more. If he just added in like an extra two or 3,000 coins, he would have at least competed with some of the other deals. Like I said, there's a 27,000 coin uh, trade offer. So that's going to be higher than the current bid. So I will delay that. Uh, Mike Camilleri and 4,000 coins. Uh, Camilleri right now, I really don't want the Team of the Week version, honestly. So I'm going to reject that straight up. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just delay it for now. It doesn't matter. Uh, next up, Hoodler, Halak, and Aginla. Not worth too much. We can reject that. And next up, we got Jack, uh, Tyler Johnson and Roberto Luongo. That's a pretty sick deal. I mean, Johnson right now is going for about 35,000 coins. Luongo's going for about 5,000. So you're getting about 40,000 coins just for this trade offer. So I like that deal for sure. Uh, there's also Mike Camilleri, Tyler Myers. Not a bad deal. 10,000 coins and a couple of uh, training cards there, so I don't exactly need that. There's also more Cassian, Burakovsky, and MacArthur, as well as 5,000 coins. We can delay that. Uh, Gustav Nyquist and Alexander Steen. So right now, Gustav Nyquist is going for about 20k. With the coins, you're getting about 26. And Alex Alexander Steen's going for about 3 to 4k. So that's about 30k coins as well, so I will delay that. 25k coins and a captain card. Don't exactly need that as well. Uh, I already kind of checked up as well Thomas Vanek, and that is the next deal. So Thomas Vanek right now has, there's no Thomas Vanek's on the market. So uh, his overall right now is about 84 overall. I know there's a training card in him. Probably put a plus 5 all in him, which means that he's only 86 overall. And I'm going to think he's less than 20k just because of his skating category. So I will delay that one. Not too interested in that deal. Uh, next up, we got Bozak, Pasternak, and Ristolainen. Pretty much all quick sell Movember players right now. And it's not a bad deal because it does kind of add up to the current bid. But still, uh, we've seen some better offers for sure. Uh, there's also about Tour, Rhodes, Dessange. Uh, we will delay that. we got Pavlik, CC, and 10,000 coins. So right now, Pavlik going for about 12.5k with the coins. Not a bad deal. It's getting closer. As well as Patrick Sharp, Spetsa, Nishushkin, and Klingberg. Uh, definitely not going to add up too much. The most expensive player is Patrick Sharp. And right now, he's only going for about 3k right now. Alright, so now it's time to make the decision of what offer we're going to take. And it was really between two offers here. It was going to be between, uh, the let me see here, uh, Tyler Johnson as well as Roberto Luongo. That deal was worth 40k. And there was also another deal here with the three Movembers and also Gustav Nyquist. This deal right here was worth 30k. So I'm going to take the one with the most value. And I will be taking Tyler Johnson and Roberto Luongo. So there you go. Enjoy my Camilleri. And I'll take those two players. But... For sure, I didn't ask for uh, more value than the actual player, so I don't know what's up with that. You guys can make sure to send me less than the actual value of the player. Uh, I will be pretty lenient with the values. Alright, so we got four more players left. We're just about to check the big ones, but we're going to first of all check Nicholas Cromwell, an 87 overall left defenseman, two-way defenseman on Detroit. And uh, right now he's going for over 100,000 coins and guaranteed that if he gets another milestone or some type of a uh, special card of the future, his card value is going to go up. So we'll see about that. But the first deal we're going to get is Alexander Galchenyuk and 12,000 coins. That's going to add up to about 75,000 coins, which is not bad. So we will delay that. Uh, next up, we got Halak, Camilleri, and 55,000 coins. Uh, 55,000 plus Halak, you're getting about close to 90,000 coins. With Mike Ca Camilleri, you're getting about 120. So that's a pretty good deal. I will delay that as well. Uh, next up, we got four uh, gold players here. We got JVR, we got Wayne Simmons, Ryan Kessler, and Marion Gabrick. So JVR right now going for about 20,000 coins. Wayne Simmons going for about 15,000 coins. Ryan Kessler going for about 20,000 coins, and Gabrick as well was going for 20,000. So total, this uh, deal is worth about 75,000 coins, and that's not the best deal. So we will have to delay that. Uh, next up, we got Pavlik, CC, uh, Method, and Coburn. Definitely not worth too much, so we can delay that. We got Lindo, Amama, Mongo, and Haringer. You can't have one of those trade days without uh, having a racist trade in there, I guess. Uh, but next up, we're going right, to move on to the next one. Uh, Phil Kessel, Braden Chen, and uh, Anze Kopitar as well. Wow. Uh, right now, Kessel's going for about 90,000 coins. Uh, Braden Shen is going for about, let me just check here. He's going for about 10,000 coins. So you're getting about 100,000 
plus Anze Kopitar. And Kopitar right now is going for about 60,000 coins. And that is definitely the best deal out of all of these. So there you go. Enjoy your Nicholas Cronwell. You definitely want him fair and square. There you go. Enjoy him. And I'll move on to Phil Kessel. All right, here we go. 13 trade offers that we have to go through. And the first offer we're going to get is Ryan Johansson and Philip Forsberg and 4.8K. That's not going to add up. And I know right now Kessel's going for about 310000 Uh So we're looking for about 275000 at least or somewhere around that value. Uh, next up, we got P.K. Subban and Nicholas Backstrom in 60,000 coins. Uh, P.K. Subban right now is going for about 125 k With Nicholas Backstrom, he's about 75000 So that's a nice even 200,000 coins in players. As well as the coins, you're getting about 260,000 coin uh, in terms of value. So that's definitely not bad. I will uh, delay that. Next up, we got Victor Hedman, Philip, or Philip Kessel, Phil Kessel. Uh, we got Lucic and Connor McDavid. I don't know why I call him Philip, but Hedman right now is going for about sixty thousand coins. Kessel's going for about ninety thousand, so you're getting about one hundred and fifty. With Connor McDavid and Lucic, you're getting about two hundred and fifteen to two hundred twenty thousand, maybe. Uh, so the first deal is definitely in the lead. Okay, so moving on to Tyler Sagan and 45k. Sagan right now is worth about 185k. With the coins, you're getting about 230 to just about 235k. So I will delay that. Uh, next up, we got Tyler Sagan again. 185 plus 35, you're getting about 220. With Kessel, you're getting 310k for that deal. So that is a pretty sick deal if I say so myself. But there's also a nice little chunk of coins there. 285,000 coins. Ooh, I don't exactly know if I like this deal better or if I like the coins better. I, I will delay it for now. We'll have to see. But next up, we got Ryan Suter, Taylor Hall, and Claude Giroux. So right now, uh, Suter is going for just about 100,000 coins. Hall, let me check on my list. He's going for about 80,000 coins. And Giroux is going for just about 70,000 coins. So you're getting about uh, 250 in just terms of all those players with the coins. Once again, you're getting a pretty good deal, 285,000 coins in terms of value, and I like the variety of players as well, so I'll have to delay that. There's going to be a lot of deciding in the future. Anyways, we got uh, Jonathan Quick next up. We got Carter, Klingberg, and Forsberg. So first of all, Jonathan Quick right now is going for about 75,000 coins, like we already kind of know. Uh, Jeff Carter right now is going for about 90,000, so you're getting about 165,000. With Philip Forsberg, you're getting about 210k maybe. With Klingberg... And the thing is, there's no HFC Klingbergs right now in the marketplace. So I was kind of ballparking his uh, value. And I would say it's about 80,000 coins because it's November right now. It's going for about 130,000 coins. And it is one overall less than the November card. So we will delay that as well. That's not a bad deal. We also got Truba McCann and 9,000 coins. We got Wong Poo. Uh, we delayed that. We got Sharp Pominville, 1,000 coins. Uh, definitely not worth uh, Kessel's value. There's also Shen, Palmieri, and Sunkvist. I don't think Sunkvist is worth 200,000 coins, even close to that, so I will reject that. As well as 250,000 coins. We've seen some better offers in terms of Phil Kessel, uh, so we can uh, reject that as well. All right, so it's time to make a decision, and uh, honestly, I like every single offer there. Like, if there was no better offers, I would have taken any of yours out of these five deals. So it's time to make a decision, and the first one, P.K. Subban, Backstrom, and 60K. That one is on the lower end scale for all these five deals, so I will delay that. We also got Sagan, Kessel, and 35k, and like we already calculated, this is just about 310,000 coins, and I really, really like this deal, so I will delay that. We also got 285,000 coins, and honestly, uh, if I didn't want to sell these two players and I just wanted coins just to open up packs or something... This deal would have been the first one to take, but still, in terms of value, I like that one better. Uh, there's also a Ryan Suter, Taylor Hall, and Giroux. Once again, really solid players, but this only adds up to about 280k. And I honestly really like Tyler Sagan and the Phil Kessel deal a lot better, uh, so I can delay that one. And there's also this deal, lots of players, but it is a 4 for 1 deal. And I don't know how hard it is to sell Klingberg, even though maybe he's worth about 75, 80k, and I'm lowballing him. I just don't know how long it's going to take to sell him. I don't want to take that risk. So I'm going to be taking the Tyler Sagan and Phil Kessel deal. Enjoy your November Phil Kessel. Honestly, I really think that's the best deal out of all of them just for my situation right now. But that the deal's done. Let's go for Tyler Sagan now and then we'll move on to uh, Evgeny Malkin. All right, here we go. Tyler Sagan, 750000 star price. I made sure to double check his value, and he's still going for that much. So I'm looking for at least 700000 I think that's pretty fair. If uh, someone were to send in 700000 on the dot, they could make a little bit of profit for sure. Uh, so the first deal, we got Tyler Sagan and 48000 coins. 
that's going to add up to about 220 so we can reject that deal. Probably shouldn't have rejected it, but I'll, I'll just keep uh, delaying it from now on. But uh, Parise, Burns, Yager, and Strite. So this one's a little bit interesting because I did check all the values here. Parise is going for about 300,000 coins. Brent Burns is going for about 200,000 coins. And Yaramir Yager is going for about 200,000 as well. With Strite and 3.4k, you're getting about 715k with this deal. And I think that is one of the offers I will be taking at least. I don't exactly know yet, but we will keep delaying it and we'll see what else we get. Okay, so next one up, we got Steven Stamkos, 195k, and Jonathan Drewen. So... All right, let's be the human calculator here. 375k plus 195,000, you're getting about 570,000 uh, coins. As well as Drew in, you're getting about 580, 590,000 maybe. And that's definitely not better than the first offer, so we will delay that. And now we got four, four, we got a four for one deal here. We got Stamkos, Quick, Giroux, and Hall. So right now, Stamkos, like I said, it's going for about 375,000 coins. Jonathan Quick is going for about 75,000 coins, so you're getting about 450. Uh, Giroux is right now going for 70. Hall's going for about 80. Add those all together. You're getting about 600,000 coins with this deal. And definitely not better than the first one, so we can delay that. And another Stamkos. Uh, Stamkos, 375. Uh, Carlson right now going for about 180, so you're getting about 555k with Eberly and 9.5. You're getting... Uh, about 580k and we've once again we've seen some better deals for sure uh we also got ryan o'reilly neely anderson and letty and uh, neely is one of the new legend cards that just kind of came out uh, but he's only going for about 45,000 coins right now almost like luke robitaille value and that's not going to add up to tyler sagan's value at all so i will reject that excuse me oh man i'm gonna burp or something but next up we got klingberg and sharp klingberg right now going for about 130,000. with sharpie he's going for about uh he's going for 85,000 so you're getting about 220 to maybe 230k with this deal which is not bad uh in terms of those players but still i'm not too interested in that deal there's also marion hosa kyle turris and 70,000 coins that's definitely not going to add up to tyler sagan's deal or value so as you guys have seen uh there haven't been any too good of offers that have added up to 700,000 coins other than this one so you know what I will be taking that deal. Enjoy your Tyler Sagan. I will be taking those four Movember players. And last but not least, guys, we got Evgeny Malkin with five different trade offers. And the first offer we're going to get is going to be two Bens and a Bean. Uh, Jamie Ben right now is going for about 280,000 coins, just about. So that really is not going to add up to Evgeny Malkin's value at all. So I'm going to delay that one. There's also Howard and Schwartz and 300 coins and pretty much quick sell value players. So I'm going to reject that. We also got Yandel, Ekman, Larson, Kuznetsov, and Anders Lee. And once again, not even going to add up to about 300,000 coins. Not even going to add up to Jamie Benn's value. So I'm going to reject that. There's also Johnson, Cronwall, not going to add up. As well as Adam Larson. A little bit disappointing for the trades for Evgeny Malkin. But still, we will reject all these trade offers. And I will end off this episode of the Trade Day Results. Alright, so overall, a pretty successful trade day. We pretty much sold every single player except for Evgeny Malkin. I couldn't really take an offer for Evgeny Malkin because, you know, the values weren't even close. So, uh, that is pretty much it for the trade day results. I will quickly go through the players that we have. Kind of just a rundown of what players that we took for those trade offers. Uh, so, we got Chris Latan, we got Felino. I guess it's a good chance to check out if the golden ticket will quick sell. Yep, there it is. It will quick sell for 25,000 coins. Uh, we also got Stepan Quick. Tyler Johnson, we got a Joel Thornton as well. Uh, Zach Parise, look at that. The values are pretty spot on from what I said. Uh, Braden Shen, uh, Phil Kessel, Tyler Sagan. And we got a whole bunch of players at the back as well. But that is pretty much going to end off this trade day result. If you guys did enjoy, once again, leave it a like. And also let me know in the comment box below if, if I were to do another trade day results, what players would you guys like to see me put up on the trade day block for the next episode of the trade day results? But anyways, guys, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, you got one of the cards that I put up on the trade block. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Absolutely nothing. Oh! What a pull! The gold rare pack! Look at that pull. Tyler Sagan. 90, 92 skating, 94 shot, 95 hands. Oh, man, I am super. That is a sick...